Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally back with our Carla Selena career mode series here. Uh, took a few days off from uploading because of my sickness. Um, I wasn't even able to talk. My voice had been completely shot from coughing so much. So still got a little bit of a cough here, but um, definitely can get back to making videos again. Tried to stream last night. Stream ended up going down, unfortunately. So wasn't actually able to finish out that stream. Um, it was just a little bit of Ultimate Team though, nothing too crazy. Um, wanted to go ahead and get back into this series. I know, I'm, I'm sure you guys are enjoying this. I'm surely enjoying this. I really do love playing as Carlos Alina. Uh, just playing as a center mid at Barcelona always is going to be fun. So, um, here we have our game against Liverpool. This is the semi-final in the preseason cup that we're in. This is just going to be another episode of preseason games. We have, uh, this game and then, um, finishing out this tournament and then, um, we are going to be going into the Supercopa, the little game before the season starts between the league winner and the cup winner. So um, looking towards that, we are going to be playing, I believe it was Sevilla that we end up playing. You'll guys see that here in a minute. But these games aren't that exciting. Um, everyone has these episodes, obviously. You can't go through your entire career being a complete god, especially when you're playing on Legendary. So... Um, you know, we were just moving the ball around any way we could, and it just so happened that we pinged a few passes correctly. Uh, shot ended up bouncing off the post and falling perfectly to Luis Suarez. So, giving us a 1 0 lead in this game against Liverpool early definitely felt good. I wasn't really worried about this game, I was more worried about the final because I was pretty sure we were going up against PSG. Um, so I, we just needed to get through this game any way we could, and I needed to conserve as much uh, stamina as possible for the PSG game because I've played every game in the preseason tournament, which is awesome. Um, it's allowing me to rank up my player a lot faster than it would if I wasn't able to start every game. But um, the games are not far apart. I think there's a game almost every three or four days, basically. So um, I'm not getting any recovery time whatsoever. Uh, my stamina is down to like 80% I think in this game and then I think it drops even just a little bit more before that PSG game. I think there's like a week of recovery time, but it's still not enough time to recover fully from uh, our stamina dropping down. So, looking at this game, I know these highlights are kind of long here in these first 15 minutes, but Liverpool actually comes back and just knocks in a beautiful cross and a diving header ends up going their direction. and. Origi, I believe is actually how you pronounce his name. I always want to say Origi, but it's just not Origi. So, um, they end up bringing the game back to 1-1. Here at the end of the first half, you see we have 60% possession in this game. Just really trying to dominate. Uh, so, you know, just dominating the game any way we could, but uh, just was not able to really get anything going in terms of the final third. It was definitely a midfield battle here. Um, us just going back and forth with them, just trying to find any way we could to work the ball in. We end up bringing Neymar in for the second half in for Dennis Suarez, which gives us a good opportunity to um, actually move forward. He, you see we have 29 touches, 91% passing, one shot off target. Uh, definitely doing well in the first half with a 7.4 rating. Picking things up here in the 69th minute, uh, we actually have a 7.6 rating at this point. Just trying to work the ball around any way we could. Uh, ended up getting the ball in a good spot and another rebound goal to take the lead in this game. So uh, rebound goals are definitely still real in this game, but oddly enough, they're not as frustrating, I guess, as they were in FIFA 16. Um, this game, it's weird. Some of the things are still in the game, and I just don't think they annoy people nearly as much because some other things aren't in the game. Um, Player switching is a lot better in this game. Obviously, it doesn't really isn't really relevant when we're playing a, a one-player career mode. But um, it's just those little things that are in this game that that aren't game-breaking. The keepers are a lot better, even if sometimes they rebound it a little too much instead of actually catching the ball. That just comes down to the keeper that you have. Um, so you can kind of understand at least a little bit more as to why it's happening. Whereas in FIFA 16, it was like nobody could catch the ball. And it was always a rebound and goal going in. Here, you know, the only, like I said in the past episode, the only frustrating thing I've seen in this game, at least for me, is the fact that um, balls go in off of like own goals and deflections and stuff like that a lot. 
This is actually our first game where we had two negative feedback things. It was just keeping possession in the middle of the park is essential for controlling the game. You lost the ball too much uh, in the middle of the park, which understandable. And then assess your options before making a forward pass. You gave the ball away too cheaply. Uh, my passing still wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that great either. Uh, Mane actually ended up getting man of the match for Liverpool in this game. He played incredibly. He just couldn't get that final goal for him. So we were able to walk away from that game with a 2-1 lead. PSG beat Roma on penalties. So we actually almost went up against Roma again, which I would have greatly preferred. But uh, we ended up going up against PSG. I gave them the Real Madrid all-white kit, basically, to come up against us in this match. Um, but... This was a game that, again, I really wasn't looking forward to because I was a little low in pace and uh, stamina, so I wasn't too sure if I was going to be able to keep up with the speed of the match. Um, but I figured, you know, we had a good enough team. The rest of the team is almost the full Barcelona squad, so we should really be able to put our best foot forward here. And in the first half, literally nothing happened. The, this was probably honestly one of the best opportunities of the game, and I wouldn't even really call it a full-blown opportunity. It was really just them running down to the edge of the uh, edge of the pitch and then just trying to get it into Cavani. Having Ibra out of that PSG squad definitely changes things. I think Cavani is definitely going to be a better striker because he's gone. As you see, this game's completely backwards as to the Liverpool game. We couldn't get the ball to save our life. Every time we got it, somebody would make a bad pass or they would be trying to do too much. In, I think it was the last episode I said that um, the this Barcelona squad feels a lot better than the FIFA 16 Barcelona squad that I played a career mode with because this team actually passes the ball more like Barcelona does. They don't try to do a counter-attacking type of play. They just try to tiki-taka it all over the place. In this game, it went back to that. It was like we were just trying to counter-attack all the time and we never really wanted to hold the ball. So I finally just started getting the ball past me, held it for a little bit of possession, just tried to do anything I could, but it just didn't end up coming to anything. So at the end of 90 minutes, it was still nil-nil, so we ended up going towards penalties. Honestly, I couldn't tell if I was supposed to be the one moving the keeper. I wasn't able to move the keeper left or right, but I think I was supposed to be diving in the direction that it was supposed to go in because Tristigan just didn't move. Um, and then it ended up coming down to the fact that Barca players weren't that good at penalties. None of them really wanted to move. But like you see here, Ter Stegen just doesn't move for the first two penalties. So stepping up, I just didn't really know. I was hoping for the best here. Uh, we end up managing to get at least one penalty. But uh, coming up here against Augustine, I was like, okay, maybe I do need to move it. So I, I flick the right analog stick to the left, and it ends up blocking it. And I'm like, okay, I don't know if that was just good timing, though. Uh, but Tehran ends up stepping up there, missing his penalty, so now it's 2-1, and uh, Pastore is up. I end up flicking it, I think, to the right that time, but he didn't move, so I was like, okay, maybe you don't have to control it. And I was just incredibly confused as to what I was supposed to be doing. I didn't know if Tristigan was just really bad at blocking PKs or what, but they end up grabbing another penalty there, or we do, rather, and... Um, it's 3-2 with Maxwell stepping up to the line. Tristigan goes the right direction. I actually ended up flicking it that way as well. Um, but it, it just ended up going a little bit too far into that side netting for us to get a save. So um, if you guys have noticed whether or not you're supposed to actually be doing something like that, let me know in the comment section below. Because like I said, I'm just not too sure as to whether or not um, it comes down to something that I should be doing or if it's really just... Um, a problem with goalkeepers right now in PK settings. So PSG ends up winning the tournament. It is what it is. I'm not too hurt by it. It would have been nice to win it, but honestly, it doesn't affect us in any way, shape, or form. We move through the we move through the tournament. We end up getting to the final. Uh, get a lot of time to play. I'm a 70 rated overall at this point, and um, we just end up, you know, losing out on it. It is what it is. It's just a preseason tournament at the end of the day. We end up with a 7.1 rating. Only 33 touches in that game, which is crazy to think because a lot of the other games I had so many touches. But uh, we end up going to the news section, and I see the player of the competition has been announced. We actually ended up winning top player of the Invitational Cup, even though we didn't win. And then uh, the news is also delight over Elena. So um, really awesome to see. Love that. The fact that, you know, we actually put in really good performances. We were able to move up to a 71 rated, I think, at the point of the next game. So uh, going up against Sevilla, uh, we are still 70 rated, but really close to that 71 rating. 
Um, so honestly, by the start of the season, we may end up getting to 71 or 72 rated. We'll see how things go. Uh, this is a Sevilla lineup. Ben Yedder, obviously, in this squad. Really excited to see him in La Liga in real life, obviously, and in FIFA because he will make better links, obviously, for Ultimate Team. But um, also just the sole fact that he's, he's a good player and deserved to play in a good league. Here, we were just one pass off from getting a beautiful goal there. Rakitic just was not able to get onto the end of Luis Suarez's pass. It is what it is. We move forward. End of the first half, just nothing really going on again. 6.8 rating for us. We could do a little bit better, but still playing pretty well nonetheless. And uh, we just had everything to play for in the second half. This is a two-leg uh, two, uh, comp. So uh, I actually completely forgot about that by the end of this game. So uh, we were just trying to go out for the win. Um, doing everything we could we had 54 percent possession but zero shots on target so just not really a good situation for us to be in we definitely wanted to move forward any way we could ended up getting this ball out to Digne and had Digne pass the ball back into myself getting that ball into Neymar Neymar just tried to do a little bit of a too much of a pass Neymar gets the ball again just can't really seem to shake his defender at all though Digne brings the ball in for a cross and I believe that is Rakitic that ends up getting on the end of it so um, we actually managed to get the go-ahead goal in the 68th minute at this point I feel like that's like the new 90th minute for me um, I always manage to grab a goal somewhere in like that 60 to 68 range um, so really good to see that ended up getting the one no lead like I said honestly I was thinking that it was only a one leg match so I ended up just kind of holding the ball more so than anything for the second half we end up with a 7.7 .7 rating at this point. Uh, nothing too crazy, but definitely a good match nonetheless. Um, Messi has been a little odd for me. He's definitely playing better in this FIFA than he did last year whenever I was playing with Lee Sung Woo. But uh, he's still not playing really up to standards in my opinion. So definitely looking to get more out of him. Um, one thing I didn't show in the video though was that the manager did say that he wants to put me out for loan. Obviously I did shake off that um, first transfer window to make sure that I could play for Barcelona at least for half a season because in real life Carlos Alina is still at Barcelona and did not go on loan but um, look for that probably in the January transfer window we're gonna have some loan opportunities at least unless we end up you know just playing in the first team more often and end up getting our rating up a little bit more but honestly I don't see that happening so we probably will be going out on loan in January so definitely like I said look forward to that like I said, I thought this was the end of the game, so I was just watching the cutscene, seeing if there was going to be a trophy celebration, started realizing nothing crazy was going on. I was like, okay, wait a second. This is a little weird. I'm pretty sure we should have some sort of trophy celebration or something. Ended up not working out that way, but Rakitic is one shot, one on goal, actually managed to get us a win. Really, that was two shots. He just ended up scuffing that other shot and ended up not counting. Uh, but we definitely could have taken the lead a lot earlier in the game. So at the start of the next episode, we will be finishing up Sevilla and moving into the La Liga fixtures um, here. Either tomorrow or the next day, we should have a Leicester City career mode going up as well. So definitely be excited for that. Definitely ready to get back into that career mode as well. But at the end of the game, we actually ended up getting that 71 rated. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later.